Hi everyone, Bongo here from the Poultry People. And today we just had a parcel in from FFX. Kindly sent me a, a voucher. Nice bit of bubble wrap, well packaged. Ooh. Okay, the Roughneck 30 inch T type pallet wrecker. Quite a substantial piece of kit. They're sharp. Oh. Yeah, that, that's quite meaty. Right area, now you can hold it, pry stuff up, without having to bend over and do your backing. What else we got here? This looks like it's the, the S-Bing I-Beam. Yeah, it seems good. Again, it's not that sharp, this one. <laughs> Roughneck Pallet Buster. <laughs> Fairly substantial piece of kit. Not too heavy. Two at a time. Ah, you bastard. There we go, handful of nails. We're off to a good start already, I'm just apart from dropping all over the place. Well, that's the thing about pallet wood. Some of it is utter shit. Not all pallets are great. That lot there, that's firewood. Might be able to salvage some of this lot here. But pallets are hit and miss. There's a good one in there. I'll get the good one out now. This one is fairly decent. Fairly wide as well. Now, what you have to watch for on these, they're held in with extra long, really chunky nails, so they can split the timber as you prise it off. Let me just give it a go. Oh no, oh no, oh no, this one's quite easy. Here's a trick, pick your pallet up, put it on an angle, give it a whack like that, and you'll maybe you'll knock the blocks off enough that you can then get the crowbar behind there. Look at that for a character piece. Won't that come off lovely with a bit of oil on it? Sand it down. Dogs, dog faces everywhere. It's definitely a dog. There's a dog, there's its body, it's sort of sitting down. And this is like a one of those dogs that are Resident Evil. A bit smoother. And these uh Ears are back. That's probably a fish. Looks a bit fish like. Little guppy mouth there, high there. And Jabba the Hut from Star Wars. Great piece of wood. It's 
quick, it does the job. I mean, the S-Wing stuff is good. Where you start getting problems with it is when you take it beyond its capacity. For example, if I wasn't getting the leverage out of here, and I had extended this out with a scaffold bar or something like that, and then started forcing it, then maybe I'd break it, but I'm taking it out of its comfort zone there. Well, it survives like after 10,000 hits on the back of there. Here's another question. All done, got about 10 done or so, or eight or whatever there was there. A fairly good combination for 60 quid. I can't fault FFX. Their website has got a lot on it. You get different results as well. Type in crowbar, type in pry bar, type in bar, type in nail puller. They've got a lot of selection on there. The pipe buster seems fairly well made. Decent rubber handle on it, it's got a good grip. That, that, that is quite solid. It's, although it's not solid, I think it's tube, but it will be tube, it's not solid because it's so... It's lighter than my pallet buster uh, version of it. I didn't get much joy out of this nail thing here as a, as a remover. Perhaps I was using that bit wrong, but uh, yeah, that, that wasn't giving me any success. All very solid. These prongs are excellent, they get right in there. They're like little, it's like a really wide claw hammer. Let's just iterate though use these tools just for pallet working if you were to use the uh, pallet bust i mean the pallet bust has got these excellent pronged prongs that go in like that if you jam them under steel or something and start to prong with it it'd be, it'd be quite good but it's not made for that you're going to bend the shaft on it more than likely it feels fairly solid for pallets but don't start using it for steel or you know car repairs or the double-ended crowbar is great, almost a pallet buster, a single-ended pallet buster in its own right, due to the shape of its head. Here, that is spot on. You know, it's almost there as a, as a, as a for, for popping the boards out, you could use that probably in its own right. It's extremely well made, very solid. The weld's good on the end there. It just seems like a very good, I'm very happy with that. That I am happy with. This, the S-Wing pry bar. Now, I specifically bought this for taking the nails out, and I think it'll be spot on for doing that. Hopefully, these teeth don't wear too much and it starts ripping out. It's a dedicated nail puller for use in conjunction with, say, your air locker. This doesn't always smash the na nails out all the way, so you need to finish off. I think for that, because it's so lightweight as well, I think this will be perfect for pop, 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 finishing the nails off. And it's got the... It's got the nail pull there, it's got the nail pull there. It's got a bit of a pry here. I didn't find it that good for actually working on pallets to actually pop the wood up. This gets in the way because you're pushing down. It's not enough of an angle here. But as a nail puller, it should work well. Again, use it for its limitations. Because as you can tell, ast wings aren't always... If you take an, you can take an ast wing beyond its limitations and it will break. But there we go, uh, I think that's a good bundle. So happy days, pallet buster, uh, wrecking bar and the I-beam. Brought to you by FFX, thank you very much. Cool, crack on and make something, make something nice. Make a central coming up soon. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. It's because I don't see a lot of people in the village, I, I see a fair few people. You can go a day here and not see anyone, maybe the cat. And he's a git. I love him so much. <laughs>